So welcome back to their episode of the best laptop setups. This is episode number 22. But before I begin, as I always do, a quick shout out to last time's winner, Juan Carlos. You're getting a hundred bucks. So stay tuned for an email from me. Today we got a good show. And if you're enjoying this series, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as it does help out. But we got to start off with Camila. She's from Brazil, fala português. And I'm liking this. This is a very clean, setup you know this is a great setup for a student in their room it's clean it's tidy it's organized she has the right colors like it's not too crazy she's using a lot of pastels which provides a very minimalistic but calming effect she has a little bit of plant life in the corner some natural light coming in from the window on the right hand side this is a place i'd love to study in now she is actually rocking a dual laptop setup she has a dell g3 15 gaming laptop that she uses to get down and game on but there's also a macbook air m1 from 2020 housed underneath her little nook and she's using a usb green or U ub green switch to go back and forth between the two different laptops this is kind of what i do here in the studio for my mac and pc setup and it absolutely works perfectly she has this awesome husky gaming blizzard keyboard with Gatoron red switches husky is a brazilian brand and she also has the logitech g305 this is smart in a dual setup because you connect the g305's dongle to the switch and then you can just go back and forth between the two different laptops but the g305 is also a good gaming laptop but also fantastic for productivity so when Camila goes to school she just chucks the mouse in her bag grabs the dongle and she has something that's super light to carry overall it's a beautiful setup muy obrigado Camila now the second setup comes from David he's from Philippines he's an engineering student or electronics engineering student and this is his setup for gaming and school he has this big l-shaped desk that he uses for his main setup and then on the other side he uses the space for customizing keeps I have no idea what that is tech repairs writing I guess keeps is keyboards and overall I really dig this you know I, I especially like his do-it-yourself pegboard it looks really good for doing it yourself and instead of like putting RGB all over the place he sticks with one color a yellow color which happens to match some of the keys on his mechanical keyboard this is a nice touch it highlights the right side of the wall you see some of his favorite stuff like his playstation controller a couple of cases he's using he even has a bluetooth speaker there so instead of just leaving it on your desk it's stored nice and tidy away on the pegboard and you can still use it without having to keep it in your main space now the gaming laptop he's using is the asus tough f15 this is a budget gaming laptop with an rtx 3050 but he does have a lot of razor peripherals like his mouse is the razor viper ultimate which is my personal favorite razor barracuda x the fiker ik75 i believe that is his keyboard and then he's utilizing this massive 34 inch wqhd xiaomi monitor that he has hooked up to his laptop he does have a light bar on top of it for some extra light if he's working at night and i don't like the foam behind it though like i know a lot of people go out and buy acoustic foam to reduce echo in their studio it's cheaper it's more affordable but the problem is it doesn't work as well you're better off buying proper sound acoustics and placing it on your wall the third setup comes from minostrith he's from indonesia and he's a visual and graphic designer but damn i gotta give him credit this setup looks beautiful it's wood on wood on wood there's the proper amount of light coming in from the window to give the desk a nice glow he has warm rgb lighting from his light on the left hand side he's sticking with an orange tone which i think just adds a nice color to the entire setup he has everything so clean and proper it is a beautiful setup to look at i love the wooden desk it's his sit stand desk so he can stand or sit whenever he wants to and then on top of it he has this 34 inch ultra wide monitor very similar to the previous setup but this one happens to be 1440p and 144 hertz his laptop of choice is the lenovo legion 5 with a ryzen 7 5800h and an rtx 3050 ti he obviously has this on a laptop stand he keeps it open for a second monitor the wallpapers are the same so it's nice and smooth and he even went with wood speakers i believe these are the edifiers they're the r12 2080 dbs with custom risers to keep them high off the desk 
to give the setup more appeal. Now he is using a big BM800 microphone. He obviously does some sort of podcasting or Zoom calls and he wants his voice clarity to be good. And then the arm that's connected to, which looks very solid, is the Throne Max microphone arm. He does have a separate V8 sound card and phantom power for the mic, which means it's using an XLR interface. And he uses the FIO K3 DAC Hi-Fi for headphones. The fourth setup comes from Zaki. He also happens to be from Indonesia. He's a student and a gamer, and the overall look and feel of this is very different from the previous ones that we saw. There's no pictures of this setup in the light, so that has me kind of concerned. But with the lights off, it looks cool. There's a little bit of light to the right hand side. He has one of those light bars, and then he has a lamp to the left, some RGB behind it, giving it the proper glow. The coolest thing to me is all the plant life. He has a lot of plants hanging from the ceiling. And if you just take a step, step back, and look at it, it really reminds me of being inside of an aquarium. It has this like dark city vibe with water in front of it, if that makes any sense. And there's a lot of wood elements to the entire setup as well. His desk is custom made, it's wood. His speakers are the JVC UX 450V. They happen to have a very wood bamboo vibe to it. His microphone is the Tafair BM800. I've never heard of it, but if it's like the previous setup, it's probably being hooked up using an XLR cable, which means it has to be powered by an amplifier. His webcam is the X6 1080p webcam. He has a desk lamp, which is the Bardi smart light bulb, 12 watts, RGB, you can change the colors to different things. And then of course, there's a big RGB strip that's right behind the desk so that he can change the colors to whatever he feels like. The monitor is an LG 22MK600, and his laptop of choice is the ASUS VivoBook 14. This is an i5 with a 10th gen Intel processor, and it comes with a dedicated GPU, the NVIDIA MX250. And the final setup comes from Waco. He's from Argentina, and he uses this setup for studying, gaming, and chilling, but most importantly, he loves my channel. He wrote this down, not me, I'm not just saying this, okay? Thank you, Waco. But I do like the look. It's a very wood theme like the previous ones. He has parquet floor, which is a darker wood. Then his desk is a bit lighter. Then his shelves, which houses all of his knickknacks and PlayStation games and anime characters are nice and organized and it looks clean. And then on the left-hand side, he has some natural light coming in, which, which helps. Like if you're sitting on your computer all day, it's nice to have a natural light source beside you. But this desk is not perfect. And there's a bunch of things I would obviously change. He has two 24 inch monitors. And instead of having them directly in the middle of his desk for better symmetry, he has one of them all the way to the left hand side. It just doesn't make the space look organized. Because on the other right hand side, he has his MacBook Air M1 on a laptop stand and it's just so far away from everything else. And because of that, you see the cable sticking out, and then you see the cables from his icy box docking station, and then there's a PlayStation 5 hidden behind it. So center the monitors, take the MacBook Air, get rid of it, put it underneath the desk on a laptop stand. You don't need the MacBook Air display open. You already have two 24 inch screens. And then you would be able to place the monitors in the middle and then have your PlayStation 5 all the way to the right hand side and it would just make the space look a lot more organized. But the worst thing about this setup, the worst thing about this setup is his wallpaper. He has messy as his wallpaper. We all know that Ronaldo is the GOAT. <laughs> So that wraps up this week's best laptop setups. Make sure to vote for your favorite one by letting me know in the comment section which laptop setup was your favorite. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.